First off, Step Killer Suits. Both oh, thank, thank you, you, man. Thank you. You know what? To impress. I. I like what? to think I have a good sense of personal style, but oh, yeah. um, Tom didn't trust me today, so he actually styled me. Well, you seem stressed, no, so I, I was like, stressed. come look at some options. I wanted to go with the t-shirt and jeans. He's like, you can't do that for this. No. He put the kibosh on it, so here we are. Here yeah. We are. And here we are at this grand opening. I mean, you guys, Woo! talk about exciting. This is a huge deal. How are you feeling? Oh, we're feeling just so amazing. I mean, it's just finally like all the hard work, like everything from the signs and the booths and the cocktails to the food to the decor, like everything, like to have it all come together, you know, all of our hard work, you know, it's to finally have it here and open here at the Daily Mail party, man. It's just, it's, it's so awesome, yeah. man. And honestly, honestly, I have, we were chatting about this. If you've opened a bar or restaurant, and you fi like finance it. It is grueling. You have our respect. Good. It will make your hair gray. Yeah. I. I mean, Ken and Lisa like really took the reins when it came to you know our. Uh, you know when it came to Tom Tom like they really. Sort yeah, of we were kind us, of like, along for the ride. You yeah. Know? We we were junior partners. We're investors, and now with this, we're involved in every single decision for better or for worse. So death do us part. Yeah. Well, you never like that. So yeah. Well, no. Yeah. But um, now, now, given you guys' style and personalities, how would you describe the look and feel of this new place? I would say this place is like very sort of, uh, you know, we just kind of went for it. Like it's maximalist, it's jungle, it's warm, it's cozy, it's loving, it's vibey. And then there's just sort of these trippy like light installations. So it's like we borrowed from, you know, that maximalist jungle vibe, but then, you know, obviously inspiration from like the Madonna Hotel. Oh well, yeah. I, we, or Madonna Inn, just, sorry. Just vintage like motels in general I've been heavily inspired by lately. Also, I've been, a lot, I've been watching a lot of reruns of the Golden Girls. You'll see a little bit of that in here. Yes. Um, and just and then like James Terrell, you know, the the very famous light artist. You know, that guy revolutionized. You know, Tom's a light junkie, so yeah. he wanted to pay homage, homage to James Terrell. And we started with that. Now it's kind of transformed into its own little world. It's like a little portal to another universe. Yeah, you got to come check it out. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. It's but but ulti ultimately, ultimately, ultimately. This is a fun cocktail lounge. Sim plain yeah. and simple. Yeah. We want a people fun to come neighborhood have fun. cocktail lounge. And 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 you know it's fun. instead of have us it's describe it, have them describe it. It's not pretentious, it's not Hollywood. It's a cozy, funky neighborhood cocktail lounge. Yeah. Where, you know, you know, you won't you'll probably never see me in a suit again. <laughs> Tom maybe, but yeah. except maybe next week, but no. you know. I, I love that and I love that the cameras are out, which means that you, this is clearly a big deal, but also Band of Pump Rules, season 10. Season 10, how exciting is that? That's, it's unreal. I mean, for anyone to get even six seasons in this town, from what I understand, Three. is like a, a borderline miracle. It's rare. And um, to get to do that with people I love and grow as a human, well, not always grow, sometimes um, devolve, take, take evolve. Take step forward, two steps back. To get to do that with a group of friends that I met here organically is very, very, very cool. You know, we weren't cast on a show. We were just a yeah. group of friends who happened to all be <laughs> dating each other. Yeah. And um, man, it's just, it's very, very surreal. Yeah. Now for you, Schultz, going into season 10, I know you're going through your own personal stuff, yeah. the divorce and whatnot. Yeah. How much of that are you going to share with the fans this season? Oh man, I, I'm unfortunately I let most of it hang out. <laughs> I think all of it. I did. Um, I wish I didn't, but that's in the past now. Um, I mean, honestly, it's just so it's just the way we. It's just the way our show is. Like, we, we're always yeah, very... it, 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 yeah. It's um, it, you know, we've talked about this many times. It's it is. It's like, it's like you go to therapy in front of millions of people, and it in the moment it's painful, but ultimately long term it's therapeutic. And, it can be uh, liberating. It can be liberating. Also traumatizing. <laughs> now, what are the chances that you're gonna get back out on the dating scene? I, oh, I mean, you have this new God. hot spot and everything. Come on, no, I can't. I'm not ready. I need minimum six months. Months. Okay, thank you so yeah. much. Minimum. I mean, that's, who knows? You never know, though. Yeah. I, could, I could fall in love tomorrow, but like, I have, that is the last thing on my mind. You know, I am, I'm a lover, and, um, you know, I just, I don't know, I'm, the thought of like the prospect of online dating, I can't do it. I can't. I will never. I'm not that I'm above it. I just, I'm, I'm old school. We got to meet in a bar 
yeah. have a we, drink. We, we got to get this thing up and rolling. And yeah, then, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know cool. where his head's at. And it just, yeah. and also just, I, I want to get this open, make it a success. Yeah. And also go reconnect with my family and my friends who I've been neglecting. You know, by necessity, it's a, it's, it's, it's a full-time job opening a bar and restaurant, whatever. Yeah, it it's is. a full, full-time job. Even when you're not here, it is on your mind 24-7. Yeah. Plus, it would be really rude to your living doll that you have. Yeah. yeah. I live in doll? <laughs> I don't have a doll. <laughs> Not for you, my brother. Oh, I love the band. Oh, thank you, You man. have vocals. Oh, thank you yeah. very much, man. I, I, you know, this is, uh, I think, the fourth band I've been in. I'm so excited, man. It's all about fun to me. Like, it's just all about the good energy, the vibe. Like, I... You know, I, I've done original music. I, I actually do have some original music coming out, but like at the end of the day, like Tom Sandoval and the Most Extras is a cover band, and that's what I love about it. People can come out, listen to their favorite songs, and just jam out. Like they don't have to be like into my stuff. They can be into their own. You know. So what's the chances we're gonna get the band up in here for a pop-up performance? I mean, there's ten members, so uh, we'll then pack the place out. We'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it, it's a lot. It's a lot it's to get talks. this band. And by the way, we're performing this weekend, Saturday the 23rd, at the Canyon Club, and it's uh, it's gonna be fun, man. We we uh, that, it's a really fun so show, fun. dude. Thank you, man. Yeah. I have a song that I, I sing about Schwartz's mom. It's really nice, respectfully, respectfully. pretty yeah. respectfully. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.